Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to the first video on the Discord bot tutorial series. So, in this video, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to tell you how to make an avatar command. So this makes the bot, it returns a URL and a picture of the mentioned user's avatar. So, this video... I assume you have everything set up like a command handler, your package and your config and stuff. If you don't use a config, I don't know how else you do do it. But I don't really care if you see my token because I'm gonna regenerate it as soon as this video is over. But it's better to have a config file because then it's easier just to import everything and then just write const prefix token, anything you have in it require dot slash config so let's just get straight into it let's just make our file avatar dot js and then you're going to want to make a const discord equals require discord dot js so if you just follow along then we're going to do module dot exports equals open name avatar that's just some basic stuff right here so just go quickly do it and um, returns a user's avatar and execute go to the message and arguments open okay so now we're going to want to call back on this, the prefix and token, so we have it. So we're going to want to do const open the wee squiggly brackets space prefix and token. Then we're going to want to come out of the brackets. Well, if you want to keep it clean and do another space there. We're going to want to come out of the brackets and do equals require dot dot because you're going two files back now dot dot slash config dot json then your semicolon then you're going to want to make a embed const so const embed equals new discord dot message embed i mess that up message embed and then that is a function so then we're actually going to get into making the code for it. So I was just setting it up basically, all of this just setting up the command. So if message, so if then let's just reverse it basically. Pardon me. Message dot mentions dot users dot first then add more brackets and then just come out of all the brackets and open this quickly then you're going to want to embed dot set title you can set this to whatever you want want but i just do this your avatar then you don't need your space because you're not going to have anything beside it then embed dot set thumbnail this is the part where it's actually gonna put in the user's avatar so gonna not want those we we'll do message dot author dot display avatar url and that's all you've got to do for that then add in more brackets because it is a function then you're going to want to do, this is optional, this part. This just the make the embed a bit better. Embed.set description. You're going to want to write anything. You can write this is your avatar. That's what I write. I'll leave a dot. And then embed dot set color 
and then you're just going to want to do any color so let's just do random for now so that will oh I have misspelled mentions so then if you save that then I forgot to do this point so if we just write what is it you write um, oh yeah slice slice avatar that just keeps me in place client dot on message message RO function and then we're gonna want to open brackets let args equals message dot content dot substring prefix dot length dot split so this in your index by the way this is just to get your index is your main file so it's just to get it working to read your avatar dot js file and execute it whenever you try so we're going to want to do if message dot content and dot starts with then you want to do this then the key beside your one and underneath escape if you just click it you'll get these we back brackets or back um yeah you know what i mean we back things so then you're just going to want to write dollar sign swaley brackets prefix out of the brackets avatar and then you will want to come out of the brackets and do more squigglies client dot commands dot get open brackets avatar out of brackets dot execute message arguments and that is it so then if you save it come into discord let me just drag my discord over Oh, I forgot to go into terminal and just do no dot. That will start the bot, put it online. So then, as you can see here, my prefix is exclamation point. So then we're just going to want to avatar. Oh, I'm, I'm stupid. I forgot to make it actually send so you need to return message dot channel dot send then it's just embed and save so we'll see up there bot online so now if you do avatar it returns with your avatar you can click on it open original then it'll take you to google and stuff so now you can click off the video now if you want just it to show the person who wrote the command if you only wanted to show theirs their avatar but you can also come out of this so if we go down to here right else we're going to make a way for them to mention so say I could mention the bot's name so I could write avatar at video test bot and it'll return their his logo but obviously it doesn't at the minute because it doesn't I haven't set up yet so you're gonna want dear cons user equals message dot mentions dot first then 
that's all you're going to need to do. So then you can just do the embed again. So embed.set title. Then you're going to want to do the back, um, the way back thing beside the one again. Do dollar sign open squiggly user dot tag. Then apostrophe s avatar. And then see if that goes quickly. And then embed dot set thumbnail you're just going to want the user dot display avatar URL and then more brackets as, as a function then embed dot set description back the be back things this is dollar squigglies user dot tag out of the squigglies apostrophe s avatar also I forgot to add the colon then embed dot set color let's just do random again then return message dot channel dot send embed save and then you don't have to touch index again so let's just do no dot if we go back into discord bot is online then if we do avatar uh, video test bot we have run into an error which error have we run into Oh, I forgot to. I wrote the wrong thing. Mentions dot users dot first. So just make sure you've got message dot mentions dot users dot first, not just dot first. So let's run again. Then avatar. Ah, uh, video test bot. It returns their avatar with a random colour here. So if we were to do it again. A different colour again. So you can obviously completely customise this. So you can do. Embed.setfooter. You can do. Um, anything. This is a test. Save. Control C up enter. Then you can do avatar at video test bot. And this shows a footer. And you can also do a thumbnail if you really want it. You can do embed dot set no it's image. Set image message wait yeah no user dot display avatar URL yeah. so it can be on both then just rerun it to update the code avatar I uh, have video test bot and it'll show here as well but I don't want that so Let's just remove it. Save. Control C. Up enter. Wait. Up enter. So it is just back to normal. If we just copy a text. Just back to normal. So you can obviously completely customise. Just do whatever you want with it. But that will be it for now. That will be this video. And if you want any more videos on anything how to do embeds i'll probably make that one straight after this video because why not and i will probably make a slow mode command so expect those within the next day or couple hours probably because these videos do not take long to make obviously because i know the code 
So, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And if you like this sort of content, come back for more. And peace.